The Sonocine exam is performed like a standard ultrasound exam with the patient supine. In order to perform a standardized procedure and maintain optimal image quality, the Sonocine exam uses a patented combination of a custom-designed nipple pad and camisole. The nipple pad is fabricated from an acoustically transparent hydrogel, which conforms around the nipple to provide continuous probe contact with an acoustically conductive surface. The camisole is made from a special material, which is acoustically transparent when impregnated with gel, and it provides a sense of privacy for the patient. The scan speed is maintained at 8 mm per second, parallel to the skin, which provides the radiologist a consistent stream of images, each spaced 0.8 mm apart. Sonocine scans in linear rows from the axilla to the sternum, covering the entire breast. The technologist does not move the probe along its path. The system drives the probe in the cranial caudad direction, while the tech directs its angle and contact pressure. The medial lateral offset of the probe's path is controlled to overlap the scan rows. To maintain a constant speed relative to the plane of the skin's surface, the Sonocine system senses changes in the pitch and probe angle and controls the scan rate accordingly. When ascending the superior aspect of the breast, the probe pitches and the linear speed slows down so that relative to the skin, it remains constant at 8 mm per second. The probe angle pitches again as the probe reaches the anterior portion of the breast, and the linear motion compensates by speeding up, keeping the skin relative speed at 8 mm per second. The downward speed slows again as the probe descends the inferior aspect of the breast. At the end of each row, the system automatically moves the probe back to the superior portion of the breast and offsets in the medial lateral direction to begin a new, overlapping row. When the probe tilts to maintain contact on the outer aspect of the breast, the beam projection is offset. The system compensates to bring the beam projection back into the line of the row. The result is a series of parallel scan rows, evenly spaced with images stored at regular intervals. Each image has its own location code, so that if a lesion is identified during the review, the radiologist can map that location.